Let's talk about friction. What's friction? Well, let me show you some examples. Friction is a force and we experience it every day. We can't see it, so we tend not to notice it. Friction is the force that opposes the movement of one substance against another. Like when you rub your hands, or when you push an object across the floor. Today's experiment will be using a chopstick and rice. It's a pretty easy experiment. You just need a few things. You'll need rice. This is about two, cook, two cups of uncooked rice. You need a bottle with a decent size opening, not too, too narrow. And you're gonna need one chopstick or a pencil. Now I wanna pour the rice into the bottle and the easiest way I found is to use a funnel if you have one. Now I'm first going to put the chopstick in and pour the rice in around it and let me see what happens. All right, so I filled this up with the chopstick already in there. And what do you think will happen when I pull this chopstick out? Let's see. One, two, three. Well, that came out pretty easily. But what do you think will happen when I try to put it back in there and we tap on it a little bit? Taking it down, tap, tap. Hmm, it's getting a little harder to get it in there. What do you think is happening in there? As the rice sits in the bottle, there are air pockets around some of the kernels. Tapping the bottle forces the air out. Air doesn't allow friction to happen, but once we take the air out, the force of friction between the rice and the chopstick result in what you'll see next. Eventually, getting the chopstick in there, tapping it, and then finding that I can lift the bottle just by holding the chopstick. You know what I'm gonna say? That was pretty cool. Well, I do hope you give it a try. And until next time, take care, stay safe, see you in the library. Bye.